a little girl named Camila Peralta had just turned three and was excited to start a new adventure in kindergarten. Her mother, Mary Mendoza Peralta, revealed that Camila could not stop speaking about starting her first day in kindergarten. In fact, Camila was so excited that she wanted to show up prepared and as knowledgeable as possible. Her mother said she had books she wanted to study so that she did not look dumb at school. Peralta had equipped her daughter with all the necessary books to learn her letters, coloring, and reading. She was even more excited to show her colorful lunchboxes at school. But before Camilla could even get a chance to experience kindergarten, her mother said she started developing symptoms such as stomach pain, fever, and vomiting. Naturally, Camilla's mother rushed her daughter to the nearest pediatrician in her horseshoe community. However, she did not know this would be the beginning of an emotionally draining process. When Camilla and her mother got to the pediatrician, they were recommended to go to a hospital as Camilla showed severe signs of dehydration. Peralta did as she was told and went to a nearby hospital, the Basica Hospital of Salinas de Hidalgo, where she hoped her daughter would be examined and healed. When professionals attended to the three-year-old, they covered her in wet towels to bring her fever down. Then Peralta was sent to get suppositories. After a few hours, she was given a serum and painkillers and was told Camila was ready to be taken home. However, Camila's parents did not see any improvements in their daughter's health. Hence, they decided to go to another private doctor, who prescribed her new medication, suggested Camila eat non-sweet fruits, and recommended a lot of hydration. But neither the food suggestions nor the medication could stop Camila's vomiting, so Peralta decided to take her back to the private doctor, and this time, he attended to her urgently and had her admitted into a hospital. The doctors put the little girl on an IV, but it took longer than expected as the nurses could not find a vein. Eventually, they found one, but Peralta explained that her daughter was disconnected 10 minutes later, and the doctors did not do an electrocardiogram, which records any signals from the heart. Peralta went to her baby and hugged her. But as much as Camilla lay there helpless, her mother said she felt her try to gain the strength to hug her until she was told to let her go so she could rest in peace. Camilla's parents were told their daughter had lost her life. Peralta was then put in a room and told she could not see her daughter. She tried to convince the doctor for one last look at Camilla but to no avail. During the wake, Peralta watched her daughter lying inside a coffin with a glass cover. At first, she saw that the glass was steamy and she wanted to open it but was advised by her family members not to, thinking she might just be hallucinating from the pain of losing her child. Eventually, her mother-in-law looked through and saw Camilla's eyes moving. They quickly took her pulse and realized her heart was still beating. The family immediately called for an ambulance, but as they rushed to the hospital, Camilla's heart rate got lower and lower, and by the time they got to the hospital, Camilla was declared dead for the second time. Camilla's family was now sitting with two death certificates, disappointed by the inadequacy of the medical attention they received. They wanted justice for Camilla. Peralta admitted she was holding a grudge against the doctors who failed to diagnose her daughter and treat her appropriately. All Peralta wanted was to prevent this kind of negligence from happening again. She has filed a complaint with the authorities of the Villa de Ramos municipality, but they have yet to contact the family. Peralta was sad to have lost her daughter, who she described as a people person who was kind to everyone. She will do anything to fight for her innocent daughter's life, 